Hello, I'm Dave from Craig and Dave. Just not this Dave, different Dave. I, look, I know it's confusing, but let's get started. Hey there, future moguls and money makers. Are you ready to delve into the world of digital currency? With the lines between sci-fi and your wallet blur, today we're unpacking the digital pound. Yep, the UK's version of futuristic cash. So grab your virtual seatbelts because it's about to get both informative and weird. Let's kick off with cryptocurrencies. What are they? Picture traditional money, but make it digital and decentralized and put it in a cool leather jacket. That's crypto. These are not your grandma's pounds. There's a whole new breed of currency that lives on the internet and is powered by some serious maths and tech. Now, the blockchain is the stage where this digital drama plays out. Imagine a never ending list of transactions, like an ultra secure global diary that everyone can see, but no one can tear out a page. Each block is a batch of transactions and the chain is the link of all these batches in chronological order. It's like a game of Jenga that only gets taller and never falls when everyone's watching. You've probably heard of Bitcoin, which is the rock star of cryptocurrencies. It's the one that started it all, like the Beatles of digital cash. And then there's Ethereum, which is like Bitcoin's artsy sibling, who's into smart contracts and decentralized apps. They're the cool kids of the crypto block, but they're also volatile, meaning their value swings more than Tarzan in the jungle. Now, let's talk about doing the right thing, or in this case, the legal and moral side of crypto. The UK is pondering a digital pound, a cyber pound, if you will. Why? Because it promises innovation, global competitiveness, and it's like having your cake and eating it too, with a cherry of safety on top, courtesy of the Bank of England. But wait, hold the phone. There are some serious privacy concerns. We're talking about a currency that could potentially tell the government exactly how many times you've splurged on avocado toast last month. That's right, every transaction, every digital penny spent on your guilty pleasures or noble causes could be traced, tracked and tallied. In the era of oversharing, you might think, so what? They already know what I had for breakfast thanks to Instagram. But this is different. We're not talking about social media companies peddling ads. We're talking about the potential for Big Brother style surveillance where your financial history is an open book to the authorities. It's like having a nosy relative scrutinize your bank statements, except it's not Aunt Karen, it's the government. And then there's the issue of leaving folks behind. What about those who rely on cold, hard cash? The digital pound could make physical money as rare as polite conversation on social media. Consider the elderly, the unbanked, those without the latest tech gadgets, or people living in areas where the internet is as reliable as a chocolate teapot. Cash is a lifeline for them, a way to participate in the economy without the barriers of digital literacy or connectivity. If we're not careful, the rise of a digital pound could unintentionally widen the gap between the tech haves and the have nots, creating a financial exclusion zone as stark as the divide between fans of pineapple on pizza. But seriously, as we sprint towards this shiny financial future, we need to make sure no one is left behind. We need to ensure that the digitization of money is as inclusive as a group hug at a family reunion, where even weird Uncle Larry gets a squeeze. So whilst the idea of a digital pound is as exciting as getting a high score on your favorite video game, we do need to pause and consider the implications. So how does this all stack up against conventional money? Unlike the wild west of cryptocurrencies, a digital pound would be more like a well-behaved pet directly issued and managed by the Bank of England. It would sit next to cash and bank deposits like a new addition to the family, rather than kicking out its elder siblings. This is a state-backed cryptocurrency, so it's very unlikely that we'll ever see a pump and dump scam where a new coin is hyped and then drained, scamming people out of their money. That's highly unlikely with a digital pound. As we wrap up, remember this whole digital pound saga is still a work in progress. The UK's Treasury Committee is like a cautious parent, making sure they don't buy a flashy new car without checking its brakes first. The digital pound could be a game changer or a no-go. It's still all up for debate. So to summarize, privacy and inclusivity are significant concerns surrounding the digital pound. It could enable government surveillance of spending habits and risk excluding those dependent on traditional cash. And finally, the digital pound would represent a stable government-backed form of cryptocurrency that avoids the pitfalls and scams associated with some cryptos. So folks, will we all be tapping our phones to pay for our hoverboards or Will cash cling on like that one hit wonder from the 80s? Only time will tell. But until then, keep questioning, keep learning, and keep laughing at the absurdity of it all. And that's a digital wrap. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech and education shenanigans. If you've got thoughts on the digital pound, drop them in the comments below. Let's get the conversation rolling.